Northern California. Here, a group of medical marijuana smokers are so fanatical about their use of the plant, they formed their own church. The Reverend Steve Cherms runs the United Cannabis Ministry. It's a non-denominational church, so we don't try to focus people's certain beliefs, but we do believe that the cannabis plant is the tree of life. It is our God-given right to use the tree of life. Lift up your tongue. Every Sunday, Cherms and his followers begin the day with a mixture of liqueur and marijuana. Can you run your tincture, young lady? Oh, there we go. The Reverend Steve Cherms has been smoking marijuana for 39 years. Today, he uses it to relieve pain from ruptured discs in his back and neck. Mm -hmm. I just can't focus with the pain, so you know, a little bit of hashish, you know, one, two marijuana cigarettes, and uh, I'm ready to go for the day. To become a part of the church congregation, members must share Cherm's passion for marijuana. Thank you. And my favorite thing, next victim. <laughs> <laughs> Now I will be able to just kind of slow down and talk to you guys without being like in a, in a haze, you know. Reverend Cherms makes sure his followers hold legal California yes. medical cannabis exactly. cards. I, then they can, you know, consume cannabis legally, even though we should be able to use the tree of life legally anyway. It's God's law, but, you know, we'll follow the rules in California. In October, the church's legal marijuana crop is ready for harvest. We grow for everybody that's in the church that cannot grow for themselves or have no spot to do it. Church members believe freedom of religion, no matter how strange, is protected by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Here, young lady. And in the Constitution, we have the right to use whatever religious sacrament we want. And this is our religious sacrament. Seasonal workers pour into California to help with the harvest. They're known as clippers, and they get paid in pot. It, it kind of averages between half ounce to an ounce a day, you know, and they trim one or two days. I, I think they usually go home with an ounce. And it's enough sacrament for their week or two weeks that they need. The reverend and his followers were recently evicted from their church because the landlord didn't agree with their religious beliefs. So now, Cherms holds an informal service in his home while the clippers manicure the harvested buds. Anybody else like to try some? Before church begins, Cherms and his congregation take more sacraments. We're all guardians of cannabis. We all have to have it. There's no kings, no queens, no emperors of this. They're all the same. And the plant needs us to be the guardian of it. What do they say? The healing of the nations. The healing of the nations. Anybody else like to try some hash, Lou? Eventually, the service begins. <coughs> Rather than preaching from the pulpit, Cherms prefers a more relaxed approach to religion. Sunday sermon for the United Cannabis Ministry. In the comfort of his armchair, he delivers his sermon from a laptop. Of life. Genesis 129. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all of earth. Does this seem like the herb that we have in our hands? Is it possible this could be the herb they're talking about? Definitely. Cherms champions the virtues of cannabis over other commonly abused substances. Tobacco kills 340,000 to 450,000 people a year. There's 150 plus thousand people a year die from alcohol related. And that, that's not accidents, car accidents. That's alcohol consumption yeah. killing 150,000 people a year. As let's talk about illicit overdose and drug use, 3,800 to 5,200 deaths a year. And my favorite, cannabis, zero. Zero deaths every year. I've never been recorded one death from the use of cannabis.